Hello and welcome to another episode of Laptop Retrospective, and today we're going to be talking about account security. The current workplace that I'm at has now instituted, finally, and probably long overdue, a more complex and more rigorous requirement for passwords. And I thought, well, let's go two-factor authentication, and then that way I can keep my password the same and life is great. When you go two-factor authentication, most people will just simply use their phones as the second piece uh, that authenticates the account. So the example that I'll use is accessing a basic Google account, but the principle is the same for many others. When we're dealing with two-factor authentication, usually it involves sending a text message, an automated phone call, or some kind of notification, or even possibly a generator app that has a code that you enter uh, to gain access to all of your accounts, applications, documents, and whatever. This works really, really well if you have access to a phone. Uh, if you do not necessarily have access to your phone for whatever reason, or you're looking for something that's a bit more unique or a little bit more secure, then this is where companies like Yubico and their YubiKey can come into place. So what this is is essentially a USB style key that has a code on it that is recognized by the program and it unlocks your account. And these are actually really slick. They come in a whole bunch of different flavors as you can see on their page here. By the way, they're not sponsoring this video. I just think they've got a neat product. So this is from their YubiKey 5 series. It is also NFC capable, but they have a whole series of different ports and keys available in different sizes and they work with a lot of different accounts. So if I click on this one, uh, we can see that it has access to a variety of different accounts, including Linux if you want. So you can actually download uh, things for Ubuntu and just be laughing all the way home. So there are plenty of applications that this uh, works with safely that, uh, yeah, for the average person, this is going to be more than adequate. So let's go ahead and set this particular key up. So I'm already at the start page and I'm gonna go ahead and break open the blister pack and remove the key. Now for the next step, I need to actually go into my uh, account that I will be setting this up for. So anticipate to see a lot of blurry screens, folks, because uh, yeah. So to set up two-step verification, uh, you can literally go to google.com forward slash landing forward slash two-step, or you can just go through your email account to access it. You'll get this page and we're gonna say, go ahead and get started. And it's gonna tell you why it's a great idea. We're gonna click get started again. It's going to want you to first verify your password. And then here's where we have our options. We can enter a phone number, which I do not want to use. We're gonna instead choose another option and go security key. Make sure it is here, we got it. Not connected to the computer yet. Click next. All right, and then we're gonna go ahead and put the key into the USB port. And then we're gonna to touch it. And the Google account is going to ask for permissions up here in the top left-hand corner. We're gonna click allow. Now it is registered and that's all there is to it. So I'm gonna nickname it uh, YubiKey. And there you go. Now, before we finalize all this, there is one more step that we are going to take and we are going to add a backup. If we lose this key, now that we've done this, the account will literally be almost unrecoverable without a significant amount of effort. So I'm going to go ahead and set up some backup codes and just a few other steps just to make sure that uh, if anything were to happen, I am not completely locked out of my account. But yeah, it is simply that easy. You stick it in the USB port, you tap it, and then you're in. I will uh, update you as I use this to see if it's something that I find is more of a help or a hindrance. If you enjoy this sort of content and would like to see more, I'll leave the big four here at the bottom for you. Please like the video, share, subscribe, and hit that notification bell to get future updates. Thank you much for watching, and I'll see you next time.